This episode of the ResortLoop.com podcast is brought to you by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Joffrey's is proud to be the official specialty coffee of Disney. Enjoy drinks and pastries at Joffrey's kiosks throughout the parks and check out the Disney specialty coffee collection only at joffreys.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. And it's here, Bob. This is Christmas Eve 2014. What? What? I hope your shopping's done. I hope your shopping's done. <laughs> I was gonna say I gotta go out. I gotta go out. I gotta stop recording and go out. But I used that last year, so you did. Never mind. What? What? Uh, what? What should we call this show then, Tim? I think we need to call it the kickoff to the resortloop dot com holiday thon two thousand fourteen. Oh, uh, we're not doing that again. Oh, uh, we have to do it. <laughs> I'm very excited. I am very excited too. This is uh, this is always a lot of fun. It it's is a challenge. It is a challenge. I'll, I'll, I got to agree. <laughs> but uh, we have uh, a lot of great uh, loopers out there that are giving us a, a, a little hand with this uh, this year. Nine new shows in nine days. Oh. I know. Everybody, carb up. Drink plenty of fluids. It's going to be like trudging through the animal kingdom. <laughs> We're not all going to make it. <laughs> I am. Uh, I am very excited about the kickoff of this. Uh, this our holiday thon twenty fourteen. I know uh, because we have an extremely, extremely popular guest on. Adorable. Um, as as many of you know, and many of you probably do. For uh, your Christmas holiday on on the uh, this Christmas Eve, um, people like to to read uh, "Twas the Night Before Christmas." It's a it's a tradition for many people. For many, many, for many. I don't do that in my house. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so we asked a very special young lady to do that for us. Tim, please introduce our guest reader. Our guest reader today, the one and only adorable Grace Woosley. Take it away, Grace. This is G Woo, and I'm going to read Thomas. Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was scrailing, not even a mouse. The, sh- the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, it hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were, were nestled all stung in their beds while, version, while visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter nap. When all of the long the, there arose a, such a chatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was, ma- was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash. Toward open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the, bri- on the breeze of the new flattened snow gave the letter of midday to objects below. When what was my wondering I shall appear, but the miniature sled and eight tiny reindeer. With a little driver soul, lively and quick, I knew in this in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More replied than eagles he counters, his courses they came and he Whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Dolphner and Bliston. To the top of the porch, to, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly when they meet. 
with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up the house top, the courses they flew with a sled full of toys at St. Nicholas too. And and then the twirling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of the little of each little hoof, as I do in my head, it was turning and turning around. Down the down the chimney, Saint Nicholas came with a bound. He was disguised all all fur from head to foot, from head to his foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a patter, oh, just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose was like a cherry. His jeweled little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was, was as white as snow. The stump of his pipe and he held tight right in his teeth and the smoke encircled his head like a like a wreath. He had a broke a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he left like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plum a right jolly old elf. I and I laughed when I saw him in spite in spite of myself. A wink of his eyes and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And lying and laying his fingers aside of his nose and giving a nod up the of the chimney he rose. He sp- he sprang to his sled to to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the t- like da- like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, "Happy Christmas to all and and to all go- a good night." Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. How much fun? Fun, fun. Super fun? Yes. Okay, good. Say bye-bye. Bye. Grace, thank you very much. That was adorable. Uh, She is... uh, She's a keeper there. Oh, my goodness. Sean, keep an eye on her. (laughs) She's going to break a lot of hearts when she gets older. Uh, But uh, that's a great kickoff to Holiday Thon 2014. Love it. Everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Holiday Thon 2014. And I'm Bob Collar. Merry Christmas, everybody. Who's got a beard that's long and white? Who comes around on a winter?